70 right now. 70, huh? Yeah. And their needs. I got uh, granola bars and uh, 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 breakfast drinks. He truly wants to help, but there's also this. Peterson says by showing respect to people on the corner, he's hopeful they'll respect his business as well. He knows that we're across the way and so he kind of keeps an eye out for us and we kind of keep an eye out for him. So if nothing else, we just have a new relationship we didn't have before. Peterson is hoping other people and businesses will join him in essentially adopting street corners and taking care of the people who stay there. He's hoping they can form a network of resources aimed at helping people eventually get off the streets. That's lovely to see. Lovely. Taking kindness and using kindness is always, I think, the, should be the first step. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, t let's take a live look outside. We're going to be looking in Toppenish this morning. Very lovely, clear morning so far. We'll have some clouds rolling in later on today for our very, very warm Friday. I'll have a look at what to expect for the rest of your day coming up. Plus, evacuation orders have changed for some residents near the Hat Rock Fire in Umatilla County. And a driver with Benton Franklin Transit has parked his bus for the last time after driving for nearly 40 years. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. From Camp KVU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Riley, it is going to be another hot day after we had a little bit of a cool down, but uh, what can we expect for conditions today? For today, it's going to be a beautiful warm day as we've seen for the last <laughs> couple of weeks now. We're kind of getting used to that warm heat now, but we shouldn't be expecting it to stay around for long because if we take a live look outside, well, first of all, it's a beautiful morning. Second of all, it's going to be cooling down this weekend for our holidays on the way but oh my goodness let's enjoy the heat for today while we've got it cooling down for a couple days after tomorrow hot friday cooling down for father's day in juneteenth and it's going to be a little bit breezy today possibly even even seeing a stray shower or two across our friday this evening if we take a look at our radar right now there is nothing going on right here in terms of many clouds or rain coverage but as we get later on today the clouds are going to roll in as is a little shower or two if we take a look at our daily planner 87 degrees for yakima in the tri-cities we're going to be seeing upper 80s and even 90 degrees and in walla walla it's going to be a hazy day across the blues 87 degrees so a very hot day that's ahead i'll have more conditions on my full forecast that's coming up but jill i'll send it back to you Firefighters are continuing to make progress on the Hat Rock Fire in Umatilla County. Yesterday afternoon, the evacuation warnings were downgraded. There are no more Level 3 Go Now warnings in place, although some areas are still under Level 1 and 2 evacuations. Fire officials say they did see a flare-up Wednesday afternoon, but crews were able to get that under control quickly. They're still working to com get complete numbers about how big the fire got but they're estimating nearly 16,000 acres. According to the Oregon Department of Emergency Management, the fire is 70% contained. We saw multiple fires in Benton County on Tuesday during a red flag warning. The biggest of those is now about 70% contained, according to information from the National Wildfire Coordinating Group. The Hanson fire burned south of I-82 in the Benton City area. This is the one that forced evacuations for several hours in Kiona. Fire officials say it's burned more than 6,000 acres, and the windy weather Wednesday was a challenge. But at this point, things have calmed down enough that firefighters are going through looking for hot spots. It's not clear what started any of the fires Tuesday. One and a half million miles. That's about twice what the average person in the U.S. will drive in their entire lifetime. Steve McMurray has been driving with Ben Franklin Transit for nearly four decades, and he's driven more than most of us. Riley Fitzgerald joined along for his last ride. Yes, I got to tag in as Steve drove his last route of his career, the one, two, three. His kids and grandkids and a lot of other family members surprised him on the route. It was a beautiful celebration and a bit of a surprise at the Three Rivers Transit Center. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise, but some just couldn't contain their excitement. Oh, they said they were going to do something. Eric Van Winkle, Steve McMurray's brother-in-law, explained that there's a series of events that take place when you've spent this long driving a Ben Franklin Transit bus. You know, retirement party here, well, this is just the final bus ride. Family decided to come out to tag along on his very final ride of his career. 
Even on his last day, he couldn't not work. Oh, well, I have a wheelchair too. <laughs> Microphone attached and all. And he remained punctual, even with an energetic family. Let's get back, slow down. And a completely full bus, we were out of the transit station at 9 o'clock sharp. According to the Ben Franklin Transit Planning Department, Stephen has driven 1,501,188 miles. This isn't counting any of the miles that he's driven off the clock. Well, we just want Steve to know that we appreciate him, we love him, and he's the best bus driver we know out there. Van Winkle explained that Steve was a senior bus driver and that when he leaves, there's a big gap coming along. If you've, uh, if you've ridden the bus in this town, you know Steve McQuarrie. He's a driver who picks his own route and is well known in the circuit. In a few short words, Steve summed up his experience. Uh, it's just been 39 years of driving, so... Thank you, Riley, for that. School is out next week for students in Ellensburg, and the city has programs to keep them busy over the summer. Registration is open for the city's Skyhawk sports camps for kids ages 3 through 12. They've got flag football, soccer, swimming, and sports combos to keep children physically active. And to keep their minds active, the Ellensburg Public Library has just launched its summer reading program for adults, teens, and youth. You can stop by the library and pick up a reading log and it has tons of fun prizes and there's also a bunch of library programming surrounding reading and it's just a great way to stay busy this summer. The library summer reading program is free and the Skyhawk sports camps vary in price. There's more information available on the City of Ellensburg website. An event taking place later today aims to promote reading and literacy skills. The Children's Reading Foundation of the Mid-Columbia will hand out free books this afternoon at Peanuts Park in Pasco from 2 to 4. The event includes literacy activities, bubbles, balloons and bike giveaways. This is part of the Read Up Stop the Summer Slide program. Summer Slide references when students lose literacy skills during summer vacation. The organization plans to hand out a total of 10,000 books at 26 events this summer. Yesterday morning, the Supreme Court upheld a decades-old law that gives preference to Native American families when it comes to foster care and adoption for Native children. In the late 1970s, the Indian Child Welfare Act was created to address concerns that Native American and Alaska Native children were being taken from their families and placed in foster care homes or adoptive families that disconnected them from their communities. Three white families in several states sued, saying that the law was unconstitutional because it gives preference based on race and gives the federal government too much power over adoptions and foster placements. But many other states and most of the federally recognized tribes had called on the Supreme Court to uphold the law. The Health and Human Services Secretary praised the ruling, saying the Indian Child Welfare Act has been the gold standard for four decades and, quote, strives to protect the best interests of Indian children by keeping Native families intact wherever possible and addressing systemic injustice. Riley Fitzgerald returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Well, we've got a hot Friday on the way, but don't worry, we're cooling down this weekend. I'll get you prepared for the holiday weekend in your extended forecast that is coming up. Plus, a 10-acre animal rescue in Ellensburg is holding a fundraiser this weekend to help them continue their mission to help animals that need special care. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air.
2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And the Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbomax pickups or get 4250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your community Chevy dealers. At Good Shepherd, it is not just a job. It is our mission. A mission to improve the health of our community. To give you our hearts, our minds, our compassion. The best technology available and the greatest medicine of all, kindness. Thank you for trusting us with your care. All the times we've been inspired to be just like dad. Right now, save $50 on the FSA 57 trimmer. Real steel. Find yours. Matt Frazier, America's top psychic medium. Time right now is 610. Welcome back. There is a fundraiser happening this Saturday to benefit Josie's Misfit Ranch, a 10 acre animal rescue in Ellensburg. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us the organization has saved 94 dogs and cats since it opened in April of last year and wants to do more. Josie was just an hour away from being euthanized in an overcrowded shelter when Marla Pugh picked her up and took her to her forever home. When I realized I could have not had her in my life, I decided I want to rescue more dogs. Seeing a dire need in Kittitas County, she founded her own rescue, named after her beloved friend. The goal of Josie's Misfit Ranch, to make sure other dogs can find their home, no matter their circumstances. The rescue specializes in dogs and cats that require extra care, either for medical conditions or behavioral needs. Most stay in foster homes until they're ready to be adopted. You're literally saving this animal's life. We can't help an animal unless we have a foster period. But some end up joining the family, making the ranch their permanent home, like Xander, who was backyard bred. Which is a huge problem here where people are breeding dogs and they don't know what they're doing. He got an eye infection and they didn't want to cut into their profits while selling him so they didn't have it treated and he ended up having that eye be so painful that it had to be removed. Some don't make it. We got a dog named CJ and he had a very rare and extreme condition where his body attacked his cartilage and turned it to jelly. He was eventually able to walk with splints, but the disease was too far advanced. He's very near and dear to our hearts. We have a memorial stone here for him along with all the other misfits we've lost. But that's something that's different about us is we take the, these extreme cases where they might not survive, but they just still deserve someone to fight for them, right? And try to, try to save them. But special conditions and special care means a lot more expenses. Our vet bills in the first eight months of us being a nonprofit were about $30,000. Paid for with support from donations, partnerships with local businesses, and fundraising events like the Dachshunds and Friends on Parade event on Saturday. One that will help provide them with the money they need to make sure the misfits that most may overlook get the help they need and feel the love they deserve. In Ellensburg, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News. The Dachshunds and Friends on Parade event is at 10 a.m. Saturday, followed by the costume contest, other activities, and an after party at Cornerstone Pie. Coming up, a tornado tears through a small Texas town, leaving three dead and a hospital running on generators. And Riley Fitzgerald will return with a look at your first alert forecast. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air.
The savings continue with Bymart's latest membership savings book, posted online at bymart.com. There's 16 pages of store-wide savings. Enjoy your next adventure for less. Bymart has you covered in sporting goods. Plus, find everything you need for your lawn and garden and patio needs, including everything Dad wants for Father's Day. Save now at Bymart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. What do you do when your employee gets hurt on the job? Here's a story about Jay. He got hurt at work and couldn't perform his normal duties. That's rough, but there's good news. You see, Jay works for Tisa, and Tisa wants to do right by her employee. She knows all about l and stay at work program, so Tisa gets to keep a valuable employee like Jay on the payroll doing a light-duty job while he heals. And Tisa gets reimbursed half of Jay's wages up to $10,000. Now, that's what we call a win-win. Learn more at lni.wa.gov forward slash stay at work. Special Agent Will Trent, Georgia Bureau Investigation. ABC presents the Summer of Will. Come at me like you want to kill me. Gladly. Experience the crime series everyone's talking about. Tough scumbag. Your fly is down. Made you look. Will Trent, tonight on ABC. This is a great time of year. Stacy Lee, she knows the Northwest and she knows Northwest weather. I think we all need to take more time to stop and smell the roses. Stacy Lee, Cap KVU First Alert Weather from Cap KVU Local News. Watch tonight. When you go see art in New York City, do you want to chop it up? <laughs> what do the young kids say? I don't they know. don't know because they've yeah. never used that you phrase before. <laughs> Next live, Asteroid City's Scarlett Johansson. Today at 9 on Cap KVU. Portion of Cap KVU sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. And now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather with forecaster Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. We're taking a live look outside right now in Toppenish through our Legends Casino Skycam. Looking like a beautiful, clear morning so far. When I stepped outside in the Tri-Cities a little bit earlier today, it's a beautiful, beautiful, clear morning so far. We've got a hot Friday that's ahead of us. We're cooling down into our weekend and we're going to be getting a little bit of breezy conditions, possibly a shower, quick shower this evening. Those are going to be heading up later on today. If we take a look at our temps for right now, we are seeing the 50s across the board, mostly lower 50s, 51 in the Yakima Valley, 50 degrees in the Tri-Cities and 53 for the Walla Walla area. So still pretty cool as you walk out the door, but it's going to be getting much hotter later on today. If we take a look at our future cast, we're going to see some uh, cloud coverage make its way into the area by this afternoon that we're not seeing right now. By this evening, we may see some scattered showers that are going to be going out of our area pretty quickly. On to Saturday morning, we're going to be seeing some clearing up, but more clouds will be making their way out for Saturday. And by Sunday, it looks like it's going to be a very clear morning for us. So beautiful conditions that are ahead. But if we take a look at the smoke forecast, there's going to be some smoke heading down from Canada that's heading across our region this afternoon. We're going to be seeing some hazy conditions, especially in the Walla Walla area and the blues as we get through this smoke coverage. For our conditions today, we're going to be seeing 87 in Yakima, 82 degrees in Ellensburg, upper 80s and lower 90s in the Tri-Cities in the Mid-Columbia. Boy, it's going to be hot outside and in the blues we're going to be seeing around the mid 80 degree range so very hot day ahead of us some warm nights as well so we're seeing the upper 50s this evening even in the 60s in some places this evening so much warmer night than we've seen for the last couple days now we take a look at our wind for right now we're seeing mostly around below 10 miles per hour so still pretty um, light winds as we make our way through this morning. But as we get into later today, we're going to be seeing some wind pick up across our region, especially this afternoon, make its way a little bit to the east. So where we're going to be seeing these 20 degree, uh, 20 mile per hour range for our winds. It's happening later on this evening. So clouds are going to be picking up some uh, very light scattered shower or two this evening and those clouds. If we take a look at our seven day forecast. The hottest day of the week is today settling down quite a bit for our weekend. So it's going to be cooler. Still going to be nice conditions though for our holiday weekend in the Tri-Cities. Again, very hot day today, settling down almost 20 degrees this weekend. 
very hot day and today and in Walla Walla we're seeing a similar trend hazy today settling maybe even a shower on our Monday so we've got a hot day ahead we may see some wind some cloud coverage make their way out later today you might see a shower this evening but they're gonna be gone pretty fast Jill I'll send it back to you at least three people are dead and others are reported missing after a massive tornado slammed northwest Texas. One small town is devastated with more than 100 injuries reported overnight. It's expected to take days to restore power. The hospital is on generators. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest. Total devastation. This morning, parts of Perryton, Texas lay in ruin after a massive tornado slammed the Texas panhandle. Tearing through homes and knocking out power to the entire town. Another one to the left of it. We've got one trailer on fire. We've got uh, uh, multiple trailers destroyed. Dozens of people rushed to the local hospital, which was running on generators. A mobile home park took a direct hit. Dozens of trailers were damaged or destroyed. Drone video shows residents combing through the debris after winds predicted up to 90 miles per hour and golf ball sized hail tore through the area. Thursday's heat contributing to the storm, destabilizing the atmosphere. More than 30 million people from Texas to Louisiana and Florida were under heat advisories, many expected to remain in effect through tonight, with a heat index up to 120 degrees possible in some areas. The heat, a major test for the Texas power grid, with record electricity demand expected. Those in charge insist there is enough supply to meet demand. Severe storms also in the north, wreaking havoc in Ohio. Powerful winds ripping the roof off this building. Hail also causing damage in Arkansas. One witness saying the hail sounded like bombs going off. Andrew Dimber, ABC News, New York. And back in Texas, multiple agencies are on the scene of the tornado damage with more resources on the way. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, the Biden administration is taking steps to protect consumers from getting surprised by hidden fees when buying event tickets. This may look like an action-adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue Trims. These epic offers won't last forever. So much of life happens at home, which is why your home should be a place of inspiration designed around great floors you love. Spending time at home on great floors is something to celebrate. Great Floors is offering discounts on select top-quality Mohawk products. Save 10% on Revwood flooring. Revwood Flooring by Mohawk offers stress-free style so you can live life on floors you love. Plus, ask about your 12-month 0% in-house financing. Visit a Great Floor showroom for details and live life on great floors. A new roof looks great. A new roof with new gutters looks amazing. With Aero Roofing, amazing is now more affordable than ever. Get 25% off gutters with your new re-roof. Did we mention our 50-year roof warranty at no extra cost? Don't miss this limited time offer. Give Aero Roofing a call today. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% zero APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. In 1980, Walker's Furniture opened their first store. So this week, they're celebrating their 43rd anniversary with storewide markdowns of 19 to 80% off. Where every dining room set, every bedroom set, every sofa, love seat, and sectional is 19 to 80% off. Or take advantage of no money down, no minimum purchase, no interest financing for five years. So you can get that new purple or beauty rest mattress set today and pay for it later during the anniversary sale at Walker's. Red or white. At Coyote Canyon, we've got you covered. If you love red, try our Italian Sangiovese, French Grenache, or Spanish Tempranillo. Like what you taste? Wine Club. Come visit our tasting room in Prosser. Coyote Canyon is calling. This may look like an action adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. 
Price transparency, that promise from some companies after voluntarily agreeing to disclose all ticket fees on websites before customers get to the checkout page. The effort, part of a push by the Biden administration to provide consumers with more information up front about the fees they're paying and to eliminate excessive fees across a range of industries. Gloria Pasmino explains. No more surprises at checkout. Entertainment giants Live Nation and Ticketmaster pledging to give U.S. consumers the ability to see the full price of their tickets up front, so you'll know what you're paying for before you get to the checkout page. This is a, an important start, getting everyone at the table and getting their commitment to provide a better marketplace for consumers, which today is rigged against consumers, is critical. Representatives for major companies, including Live Nation, SeatGeek, Airbnb, TickPick, and others, gathering at the White House Thursday. The announcement, marking Biden's latest effort to address economic issues that are top of mind for voters heading into the 2024 election. This is a win for consumers, in my view, and proof that our crackdown on junk fees has real momentum. The entertainment industry has been under a microscope in recent months, following scenes like this. God, please. There are those who are in the business of grabbing up all the tickets uh, at face value and sending them to a secondary market where there's multiple, multiple uh, costs added. That's what happened in the Taylor Swift situation. While Thursday's announcement may ease the shock factor at the end of your ticket purchase, consumer advocates say the public won't be protected until companies are faced with new laws. The problem is you can disclose uh, everything, all the fees and all the costs, uh, and still take consumers to the cleaners. I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting. In February, the president proposed the Junk Free Protection Act, targeting excessive online concerts, sporting event and entertainment ticket fees, as well as airline fees for families sitting together on flights, early termination fees for phone and TV services, and surprise resort and destination fees. A new report shows Google has been making millions of dollars off misleading ads related to abortion. They look like they're for clinics, but are aimed at tricking women into hearing anti-abortion messages. The Center for Countering Digital Hate says users clicked on such ads 13 million times from March 2021 through February of this year. The center says Google made $10 million off the advertising. That's a small fraction of its revenue, but congressional Democrats want the company to crack down on the false messaging. Mercedes drivers will soon be able to live their night rider dreams. Mercedes-Benz Mercedes -Benz inked a deal with Microsoft to add ChatGPT to its cars. That will extend the capabilities of the vehicles, which can already respond to simple commands. Drivers initiate by saying, hey Mercedes. Right now, the car's responses are limited to simple commands like uh, adjust the temperature or find a navigation destination. With the addition of artificial intelligence, the system will be able to respond to a much wider range of requests. It will also be able to carry on more natural conversations. Mercedes owners who want to test it out can say, hey Mercedes, I want to join the beta program. In Los Angeles, several hundred custodial workers joined writers on the picket line outside Sony Pictures and Amazon Studios Thursday. Some custodial staff have lost their jobs while prod well, productions are halted. And they're not alone. The movie and TV production shutdown is reportedly affecting everyone from local restaurant workers to carpenters who work on sets and even truck drivers. The financial losses due to the Writers Guild of America strike are, effect, are expected to be felt much sooner than the 100-day strike of 2007 to 2008. That's because the economic impact is spread out geographically with a number of movies and shows filmed outside of California in places like Georgia and New York. And with the potential for SAG-AFTRA to strike if a deal is not reached by June 30th, more productions could come to a standstill. But today we're here because we want to support the Screen Actors Guild. Our janitors understand and we know, especially as immigrant workers, the value of work and how important it is to them and their families. But we also know how important it is to stand in solidarity with other workers and Screen Actors Guild right now in their strike. And as we start our, our, our march towards our own, our own uh, negotiations coming up next year, we want to stand shoulder to shoulder with the broader working, working uh, workers throughout Los Angeles. Coming up, the relatives are searching for answers after two American tourists were found dead in their hotel room in Mexico. 
We have a lot more news to share with you on our mobile app. You can use the camera on your smartphone to scan this QR code, which is also at the bottom of your screen throughout the show. The code will take you right to our app for news and weather on demand. It's free to download and there is no subscription fee. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let ICE challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. It's the biggest anniversary sale in the history of Walkers as they celebrate the opening of their first store in 1980 with the largest store-wide discounts ever offered where you can get wall-to-wall -wall savings for every room in your home anywhere from 19 to 80% off or take advantage of special five years no interest financing. This is the one sale our customers wait all year for. And your chance to save like never before, including accessories and decor. This week at Walkers. You get a lot of things out of your vehicle, but one thing you shouldn't get is disappointment. At McCurley, we understand that a vehicle is more than a vehicle, and our expert technicians are here to make sure you get the most adventures and memories out of every mile. Find your way home in a new Mazda from McCurley Mazda. Browse our entire inventory online at McCurleyMazda.com. Memorial Aquatic Park in Pasco is now open. Get your season pass, inquire about swim lessons, or sign up for a swim team today. Open Swim starts at 1 p.m. daily. Join all the special events that Pasco Parks and Recreation has to offer all summer long. You can learn more at PascoParksandRec.com. Get fit, have fun, and do more with Pasco Parks and Rec. Matt Frazier, America's top psychic medium. Two American tourists have been found dead in a luxury hotel in Mexico. What the autopsies revealed about their deaths. And a horrific highway crash in Manitoba, Canada leaves at least 15 people dead. And we've got a hot Friday today and a big cool down is on the way for your Father's Day. I'll tell you all about it that's coming up. From Camp KVU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Now Riley, some people might in our regions might be noticing a little bit of haze in the air and of course we had some big wildfires on Tuesday that broke out, but that's not exactly where that smoke is coming from. What can you tell us about that? So what I've seen is that the smoke is coming down south from Canada. It's mostly this haze is affecting the, uh, the Blue Mountain region and so it's going to be heading out of our areas by this evening hopefully so i'll have that all in my full <laughs> forecast that's coming up if we take a live look outside in toppenish right now it's a beautiful clear sky today and oh my goodness it's just looking great right now very warm day that's ahead of us if we take a look at that hot friday we're going to be cooling down for tomorrow so if you don't like the heat that we're going to be getting today that's okay because we're going to be cooling down very significantly. Got some breezy conditions for today. Those are going to be picking up a little bit later on today as well as some more clouds. We saw that clear 
clear morning. So we see it right here on our radar, very clear morning. However, we are going to be seeing some clouds rolling in just a little bit later on this morning and into this afternoon. For our daily planner, 87 degrees for the Yakima area. Very, very hot day today. Tri-Cities is going to be seeing upper 80s and lower 90s even for the area and Walla Walla, as we said, very hazy today, but still going to be warm, 87 degrees. Beautiful day, but we're going to be cooling down over this weekend. I'll tell you all about it in my full forecast that's coming up. There are new details after two Americans were found dead at a luxury resort in Mexico. Paramedics are saying even they started to feel symptoms, including a racing heartbeat when they responded to the scene. The paramedics say they even raced to the hospital for themselves. Autopsies on the Americans have been done and relatives are demanding answers. Here's ABC's Rhiannon Alley. This morning, new questions about what's to blame for the mysterious deaths of two Americans in Mexico. We want to know exactly what happened and we just don't know that yet. Abby Lutz and John Heathco were staying at this thousand dollar a night resort near Cabo San Lucas when they went to the hospital for suspected food poisoning. They were treated and sent back to their hotel where they were found dead the next day. Abby on the bed, John in the bathroom. She had been messaging her dad and told him she was feeling sick and went to the hospital. Um, stayed one night on IV and felt so much better. And then she texted him um, Monday night to say good night, love you. And then we hadn't heard from her again. The coroner says the pair had been dead for 10 to 11 hours and died from intoxication by a substance to be determined. Abby's family now putting the blame on the hotel. According to a GoFundMe account set up to help with funeral costs, the family says we have been told it was due to improper venting of the resort and could be carbon monoxide poisoning. But the hotel denies the allegation. Hyatt, which runs the resort, saying we do not believe that the cause of death was related to any issues with the hotel's infrastructure or facilities, including carbon monoxide or gas of any kind. Adding, out of respect for the families involved, we cannot provide any further details. It's the latest tragedy to strike vacationing families in Mexico. Back in October, three tourists died from carbon monoxide at a vacation rental in Mexico City. And in 2018, an American couple and their two kids were killed after a gas leak in their condo outside Cancun. Rihanna Ali, ABC News, New York. U.S. officials are working with Mexican authorities to determine how Abby and John died. American investigators have not revealed what substance is to blame for their deaths. Multiple rescue agencies, medical helicopters and ambulances rushed to help dozens of people following a fiery highway crash in Manitoba, Canada. At least 15 people were killed. Ten were hospitalized as of yesterday evening. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police say a tour bus collided with a semi-truck near the town of Carberry, about two hours west of Winnipeg. The bus was carrying a group of seniors to a casino. There's no word on what caused or may have contributed to the crash in terms of weather conditions or visibility. Law enforcement said there could be criminal charges depending on the outcome of an investigation. Riley Fitzgerald returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Well, we have got a hot Friday on the way, but don't worry, we are cooling down this weekend. I'll get you prepared for the holiday weekend in your extended forecast that's coming up. Plus, if you've ever wanted to grab a drink in the iconic coffee shop from Friends, now's your chance. We'll tell you when you, get, when you can get the chance to hang out at Central Perk. Portion of Cap KB sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150, only at your local Ford dealer. Dear 2030, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspection, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with 7-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 5.49% APR for up to 60 months on a Toyota certified used Camry, Corolla, or RAV4. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places.
Introducing the new line of crispy chicken pizzas from Little Caesars. Large pizzas with white sauce and crispy chicken, topped with either a swirl of barbecue, buffalo, or garlic parm sauce, or choose no swirl at all. Look at that mesmerizing saucy swirl. The crispy chicken is making you hungry. Very hungry. Get one of the new crispy chicken pizzas available online for $9.99. Pizza, pizza. It's great to see you. Come on down. Welcome to Sea Galley. Dinner tonight or the Shipwreck Lounge. May I suggest our surf and turf special, prime rib and crab. Cut your ties to the fuel pump with an all-electric vehicle from Overturf Kia. You'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. Lease a 2023 Kia Nero EV Wind for $349 per month or purchase for just $41,349. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer only at your local Ford dealer. What's bothering Archie? Politics. What the Supreme Court says ain't got nothing to do with the law. Do that. Goldfish. Come on now, I draw the line on goldfish. All in the Family, Sunday night at 8 on MeTV for Yakima and the Tri-Cities. When you go see art in New York City and you want to chop it up, <laughs> what do the young kids say? I don't they, know. Don't know they don't know because they've yeah. never used that you phrase before. <laughs> Next Live, Asteroid City's Scarlett Johansson. Today at 9 on Cap K View. Ever wanted to visit the iconic coffee shop from Friends? Well, soon you'll have the chance. But Central Perk won't be located in New York City like the Friends cast frequented. Central Perk Coffee Company is opening in Boston. The permanent location inspired by the legendary sitcom will open later this year. Aesthetically, it will look like the show's set within a modern, fully functioning coffee house. Very cool. I'm sure there's a lot of Friends fans that will have to make a trip out to Boston. Are you a Certainly. Friends fan? I have definitely watched the show. Um, I haven't finished it. <laughs> okay. Are you a Friends fan? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always been a fun one to watch. I enjoy it. So. Excellent. I think yeah. I'll give a shout out to my friend who is currently, like, she has been on a road trip from Washington to Boston. Oh. Um, she's, she's moving to Boston, to so she's there. gonna have to stop there, and I'm very excited for her. So she'll let me know how it is. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be excited to hear how it is. I'm sure. And I don't know how weather in Boston is, but I know how weather in the <laughs> Tri Cities and the Mid Columbia and around our regions is. I'll have your f first alert weather forecast coming up. It's looking like a very clear morning. That's gonna change a little bit. I'll tell you all about it. And we're one step closer to the beginning of the NFL season as the Seattle Seahawks wrap up some team activities that's next on good morning northwest watch me watch my first step turn to leaps and bounds watch me play carefree while the world goes round listen to me join in with every girl and boy screams of happiness limitless joy watch me run through the grass and sand they said i would now I can. Watch me. Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. Special report. Spectrum brings us Spectrum One, where Spectrum Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and unlimited mobile come together to keep you seamlessly connected wherever you are! Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile with no contract. Call 1-833-743-4999. The Coopers here just got Spectrum One. Why did you switch? With Spectrum One, we get a super fast, reliable connection. Look, with Spectrum Internet, I can stream Spectrum news across all our devices. And the advanced Wi-Fi has enhanced security and privacy features that automatically block <laughs> online threats, keeping our family and devices safe and secure. How reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's a super reliable service coast to coast. And it includes nationwide 5G. 
Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile with the fastest wireless speeds. Call 1-833-743-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and Hermiston. Every location is conveniently located. And now, Smoke City for Less Hermiston has relocated to North 1st Street by AutoZone. An easy turnoff, $3.95 and you are there. For the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Open seven days a week, five locations, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and the new location in Hermiston, off $3.95. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. So, Richardson family, the neighbors are very curious about your new family member. Oh, Robe Elizabeth? Hello. We built her when our daughter moved out so we could keep our family plan and save money. With US Cellular, you don't need a fourth line to get the best deal. It's just $29.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. Oh. I guess we don't need a fourth line anymore. This is awkward. Now at U.S. Cellular, it's just $29.99 per line. Plus, every plan is price protected. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more. With a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade. All with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam comes to Richland July 8th and 9th at John Dam Plaza. And now, Cap TV First Alert Weather with forecaster Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. We're at the end of the week and we're taking a look out in Toppenish right now. A beautiful, clear morning as we start our day, but it's going to be rolling in with some clouds as we get later on in our day. A hot Friday is on the way. Cooling down for this weekend as we've got Father's Day and Juneteenth on the way and a little bit breezy this uh, today, this Friday, and a little bit stronger winds as we make our way into later this evening. If we take a look at our temperatures right now, we're seeing the 50s all across the board. Right now we're starting in the mid 50s in the Yakima Valley. In the mid-Columbia, we are seeing 50s all around the board, 50 in the Tri-Cities, 57 in Hanford, and in the Blues, we are seeing the mid 50s as well. So still a little bit chilly as you make your way out the door. You may not want to bring a jacket though because it is just going to be getting so hot today. If we take a look at our future cast, we're going to see some clouds rolling into our areas toward this afternoon. A lot of clouds and possibly even some scattered showers for Friday evening. So we make our way into Saturday. Those showers are gone very, very quick. Some clouds uh, lighten up a little bit, but we will see some more tomorrow and into Sunday. We've got some pretty clear coverage over, over the next uh, the weekend. If we take a look at our smoke forecast, we're seeing some haze in the Walla Walla area right now. It's heading south from Canada and moving to the east. So by this evening, we won't see as much of it anymore. For our highs for today, 82 for Ellensburg, 87 for Yakima. In the Mid-Columbia, we are seeing the upper 80s and lower 90s across the area. And in the Blues, we are seeing the mid 80s all across the board. So a very, very hot day. We've got a warm night tonight as well. We've been seeing some cooler nights so far, but tonight it'll be pretty warm, a little bit windy, however. Seeing the upper 50s and the lower 60s for our evening. If we take a look at our wind speeds right now, we're seeing pretty low winds across our areas right now, 10 miles per hour in Pendleton. But as we get into later on today, a future cast winds, we're going to be picking up just a little bit as we make our way into Friday afternoon. It's where they pick up into the double digits and move to the east across our area. That's when we're going to be starting to see those 20 mile per hour winds start to head into our areas. So we're going to be picking up in the winds later on today. If we take a look at our seven day forecast. Hottest day today, cooling down almost 20 degrees for our weekend for our Father's Day. Staying pretty cool for the start of the work week, picking up later on. 
for our seven day for the Tri-Cities. Again, a very hot day cooling down for this weekend and in Walla Walla, same story, but we might get some showers for our Monday. A hot Friday ahead of you. We are cooling down this weekend. We might get some clouds and some wind, possibly even a shower later on this evening. But today, enjoy that sun. Jill, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. The Seattle Seahawks wrapped up OTA practices this week, and OTA stands for Organized Team Activities. These were the final practices before training camp begins next month, and the Hawks have a lot of young players to be excited about. First round draft picks Devin Witherspoon and Jackson Smith and Jigba have impressed the players and coaching staff this offseason, while the Hawks veterans are expected to set a good example for the younger players to follow. 30-year-old wide receiver Tyler Lockett is entering his ninth NFL season, while star wide receiver DK Metcalf is going into his fifth season. You know, the biggest thing is even though you've been here for a while and you're a vet, you're also, you know, fighting old age. <laughs> you know, you're fighting things that your body used to do normally, and now you kind of got to get it going. Uh, you got to stretch more. You got to, you know, kind of do a pre-workout before the real workout. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's kind of different than the rookies and the second-year guys coming in. So that's basically what, I was, what I'm doing to the young guys is just showing them what helped me my rookie year. And if it, it helped them, it's going to help me. If not, it's not. The Seahawks will open the season September 10th at home against the L.A. Rams. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, the Olympians honoring the memory of their teammate and shining a light on the sobering statistics surrounding black maternal health. Sometimes our strength or the perception that we're strong is a liability for us because then our pain levels aren't believed all the time. Olympian Tiana Madison speaking out after her teammate Tori Bowie unexpectedly died in May while eight months pregnant. Madison also experienced complications in pregnancy, giving birth to her son at just 26 weeks. It is absolutely not our fault, but it is our problem. Mm. We need to put ourselves in position to save ourselves, educate ourselves and advocate. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll explain the dangers for black women during pregnancy and hear much more from these Olympians on a mission. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. She found it. The feeling of finding the psoriasis treatment she's been looking for. So Tic2 is the first of its kind once daily pill for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis for the chance at clear or almost clear skin. It's like the feeling of finding your back is back. Or finding psoriasis can't deny the splendor of these thighs. Once daily so Tic2 is proven to get more people clearer skin than the leading pill. Don't take if you're allergic to Sotic2. Serious reactions can occur. Sotic2 can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections, cancers including lymphoma, muscle problems, and changes in certain labs have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, liver or kidney problems, high triglycerides, or had a vaccine or plan to. Sotic2 is a Tic2 inhibitor. Tic2 is part of the Jack family. It's not known if Sotic2 has the same risks as Jack inhibitors. Find what plaque psoriasis has been hiding. Ask your dermatologist about Sotic2 for clearer skin. So clearly, you. So tick to. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. Firefighters are continuing to make progress on the Hat Rock Fire in Umatilla County. Yesterday afternoon, the evacuation warnings were downgraded and there are no more level three go now warnings in place, although some areas are still under level one and two evacuations. Fire officials say they did see a flare up Wednesday afternoon, but crews were able to get that under control quickly. They're still working to get complete numbers about how big the fire got, but they're estimating nearly 16,000 acres. Multiple fires in Benton County Tuesday during a red flag warning. The biggest of those is now about 70 percent contained. The Hansen fire burned south of I-82 in the Benton City area, forcing evacuations for several hours in Kiona. Fire officials say it's burned more than 6,000 acres and the windy weather Wednesday was a challenge. 
But at this point, things have calmed down enough that firefighters are going through looking for hot spots. It's not clear what started any of the fires Tuesday. Locally, one man is retiring from Ben Franklin Transit after 39 years on the job. And he got a fantastic send off Thursday morning. Steve McMurray was surrounded by friends and family on his final route, the 123. According to the Ben Franklin Transit Planning Department, McMurray has driven more than 1.5 million miles. This isn't counting any miles he's driven off the clock. We wish McMurray a very relaxing retirement. School is out next week for students in Ellensburg and the city has programs to keep them busy all summer long. Registration is open for the city's Skyhawk Sports Camps for kids ages 3 through 12. The Ellensburg Public Library has just launched its summer reading program for adults, teens and youth. The library's summer reading program is free and the Skyhawk Sports Camps vary in price. There's more information available on the City of Ellensburg's website. And an event taking place later today aims to promote reading and literacy skills. The Children's Reading Foundation of the Mid-Columbia will hand out free books this afternoon at Peanuts Park in Pasco from 2 to 4. This is part of the Read Up Stop the Summer Slide program. Summer Slide refers to when students lose literacy skills during summer vacation. The organization plans to hand out a total of 10,000 books at 26 events this summer. Yesterday morning, the Supreme Court upheld a law that gives preference to Native American families in foster care and adoption of Native children. The Indian Child Welfare Act was created to address concerns that Native children were being placed in homes that disconnected them from their communities. Opponents say the law is unconstitutional because it gives preference based on race. But many other states and most of the federally recognized tribes had called on the Supreme Court to uphold the law. The Health and Human Services Secretary praised the ruling, saying, quote, the Indian Child Welfare Act has been the gold standard for four decades and strives to protect the best interests of Indian children by keeping Native families intact wherever possible and addressing systemic injustice. The return of hot weather brings the potential for the return of Japanese beetles in Benton and Yakima counties. However, the Washington Department of Agriculture says the insects could surface in other locations. According to the Department of Agriculture, the insects favor many of the agricultural items grown in eastern Washington, including grapes and hops. It says the insects could pose a potential threat to local agriculture, gardens and green spaces if they establish themselves here. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day today. We're taking a live look outside in Toppenish right now. A very clear morning to start off our day, but we're gonna see some clouds rolling in later on, as well as some windy conditions. Those are gonna be picking up quite a bit later on today. If we take a look, oh, goodness, we have a hot Friday that's on the way, but we will be cooling down for our Father's Day, dropping almost 20 degrees in all of our regions this weekend. We take a look at our temps right now. We are seeing the 50s all across the board. Lows to highs. Yakima seeing 51 degrees. In the Tri-Cities, we're seeing 50 degrees and Walla Walla is 57. So on your way out of the door, you may need a jacket, but you can definitely ditch it by later on today when we're going to be getting these upper 80s in our areas. If we take a look at our future cast, we're seeing a very clear sky this morning. But as we make our way through the day, we're going to see this cloud coverage make its way over our areas. Probably a little bit of a shower this evening, gone super quick by tonight and on to Saturday morning, clearing up just a little bit, but those clouds will make their way back to our area, then clear once again for our Sunday. So beautiful weekend that's ahead. Clear sk skies for our Sunday morning. We take a look at our temps for today, 87 in Yakima, 82 in Ellensburg, upper 80s, lower 90s in the mid-Columbia and in the blues, we're going to be seeing the mid 80s. Very hot day. We will be cooling down for our holiday weekend. Hope you have an amazing and safe holiday weekend and Jill, I will send it back to you. Thank you, Riley, and thank you for waking up with us and watching Good Morning Northwest. GMA is next. Cap KV Local News is back tonight at 5, and you can always find the latest updates on our website, yaktrinews.com. Have a great day.